Another five minute mystery. Our story takes place in Greens Gap, a small town in the Southern Cavern District. Greens Gap Hospital, Dr. Melville speaking. Accident? What kind of accident? Two men was explored and they got lost last night. One's unconscious. You better go quick before he's dead. I hope you know how to get out to Echo Cavern, Lam. With the job of being town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know all there is to know about this country. Ever been down in the cavern, Lam? Once, Doc Melville, when I was a boy, nearly got my hide thanned off by my pa. Echo Cavern is a mighty treacherous place. You mean it's easy to get lost in it? Not only that, Doc. It's that cavern gas carbon. Mm, something. You mean carbon dioxide? Yes, that's it. All of a sudden, you run into some of that stuff, and before you know it, bing, you're out. Still, people seem to go exploring there? More fools to be. I wouldn't go in them caverns, at least till I was not without a dog. A dog? What floor? Well, if a dog keels over, then you know the gas is collecting. I'm afraid, Mr. Gaddy, your friend is dead. Poor Patsy. It was from the gas, wasn't it, Doc? That's what it looks like to me. Why did you go in that cavern anyway? Patsy asked me to. You never seen the cavern before. How far did you go in? Well, it didn't seem far, but all of a sudden we lost our way. When was that? How do I know whereabouts it was if we was lost? We tried to trace our way back, but it wasn't no use. Patsy started to get scared. It's kind of funny to see a big guy like that get scared. Yes, he is rather big, isn't he? Six foot four. The mob used to call us Mutt and Jeff. And then what happened? Well, I was a little scared myself, but we stuck together, you know, walking in the dark with only my flashlight from the car. All of a sudden, Pat kneeled over. From the gas? Yeah, that's what I figured. His head hit on a rock, and I guess that's just about finished him off. I suppose you reckon yourself pretty lucky, mister. Yeah, sure. I figure it's cause I'm only five foot three that I got out of there alive. The gas must have been just about a foot over my head. Yeah, and what do you think about that? I think you better arrest Mr. Gaddy here for the murder of his friend Patsy. What was the flaw in Gaddy's story? Do you know it? In a moment, we'll hear from Lem and Dr. Melville. Dentists know what cleans teeth best. And over 4,000 dentists say Colgate Tooth Powder with a two-minute routine gets teeth sparkling and super clean. So to remove dull film and get your teeth shining clean, just brush teeth two minutes morning and night with Colgate Tooth Powder. And now let's see whether you're as observant as Lem and the doctor. Hey, copper. Let me put my hands down. They're tired. When you're in Green Cap's jail, not before. Ah, uh, I don't get it. It was a good story. I can't figure out how you found out. Well, Lamb tells me they used to take dogs into the cavern because the gas is heavier than air. It collects on the floor. If you really met gas, you would have keeled over first before your pal Patsy. Well, what do you know? I'll tell nowadays in the murder racket, you need a college education. Join us again next time for another chance to solve a five-minute mystery.